11 time wasters for artists and producers sitting here in atlanta i'm in buckhead you know i had to leave la for a little bit um it's one of the cds that's still on lockdown so you know i've been kind of on lockdown for about a year so i just want to come out here and see some friends and family and i got a little free time here in this um in a hotel staying here at the w in buckhead it's pretty dope so i wrote down 11 time wasters for artists and producers and i'm about to go through this list real quick and i hope this list could bring you value so the first thing is waiting for inspiration like um that's just a terrible thing to do if you're an artist or if you're a producer just if you if you're not inspired it's better to just try something than to not do anything at all because you're going to waste so much time waiting for inspiration to hit you i know i know people that just okay i'm gonna go to the club okay i'm gonna go here you're gonna waste so much time just waiting for something to hit you when the best thing to do is to go ahead and just start don't wait for inspiration no matter if you're inspired or not just start the second thing is chasing the trendy sound a lot of artists and producers do this they hear something that's hot they see something that works and then they try to duplicate the same thing the problem is it really it, it sometimes it works but people that duplicate and copycat sounds, they never have a long term um, career. They, it's never a longevity. Like, example, where's Designer at? He was a copycat of Future. Future's still here. Designer isn't. There's a, like, you, yeah, you can get on doing a copycat thing, but it's not respected and it doesn't last forever. So try to be original. Now, you can be inspired. You can hear something that's on the radio or hear a sound or something. And it's like, you know what? But, I, I like that, but you know what? You have to do it your way. You could add, you could add your twist to it to make it original. But to just flat out, just take the whole sound and to take the whole swag and just put it out like it's yours, it's not respected. So try to be as original as possible because at the end of the day, you'll have a long term jeopardy and you'll make more money. The third thing is worrying about what other people say. Um, that's something that seems to be holding everybody back, especially right now in the modern world that we live in. People really give a fuck about what people think. And that's one of the number one things that will hold you back. You're not going to put out that. Pro I know people that just make music privately, but they just keep it. They keep it because they're scared to put it out. They're scared to go perform on stage. They're scared to do And It's not even just music with anything. If you are trying to be successful, you're you look. People are going to talk bad about you no matter what. Like if any of y'all know anything about me, shoot, I have people talking in good, bad and ugly about me. It's everybody. That's the nature of the game. Anything, anytime you sign up for anything that um, you want to be successful in, people are going to talk bad about you and people are going to talk good about you. So, you know, you got to have pride. You know, you got to be your own cheerleader and you got to learn how to work and not give a fuck about what other people think. The fourth thing is promoting your music the wrong way. I see this time and time again. One of the main things that I see a lot of artists do, is, do once they um, upload their music on DistroKid or something, they immediately go to Instagram and they just start like spamming the cover everywhere, everywhere. They start using hashtags and just spamming the cover. When you go on their Instagram, it's literally just boom, 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 cover, 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 cover. That nobody has, ever, no artist has ever got on gotten on doing that there's better ways to promote your music which is why i'm about to drop a course teaching artists how to use facebook ads to get more streams and to make more money and to get more fans with their music but that's a smart way but to sit there and just be on your phone doing the twitter fingers thing and just like you want to work smart and not hard and in, in the age of 2021 right now, in the modern day that we live in, there's too many websites, there's too many ways, there's too many ways you can run ads or use TikTok or use Snapchat or use different um, avenues to actually get your music seen and heard on a bigger scale. So like I said, I got a course coming out um, on that real soon where I'm going to teach you step by step how, how to implement these. So um, every time you drop a song, it immediately takes off. You'll get the same results as a platinum artist. So be on the lookout for that. Um, let's see. The fifth thing is trying to be perfect. Um, that is that will hold you back as well. I mean, I meet so many uh, artists and so, so many people in different fields and they're always chasing perfection. But you know what happens when you chase perfection? You waste fucking time and the shit never fucking comes out. You I like release it un, like imperfection is perfection. I say it that way imperfection is perfection if you like just drop it just put it out 
Stop going back and trying to edit it. You producers listening, stop opening the same session and adding this to the beat, taking it, taking this out. I know people that work on beats for like three days. I know artists that work on one song for like a week. Like that that's too much. And guess what? The beat never gets picked and the song never drops or comes out. So stop chasing perfection. Just drop it as is. Just put it out. But you're going to waste a lot of time just chasing perfection. And honestly, like I say, imperfection is perfection. People don't even like perfection like that because they don't trust it. Imperfection is perfection. Um, the sixth thing is uh, fear of rejection. That's big right now because a lot of people are scared to be rejected. A lot of people, um, I, I know this uh, for a fact. I'm actually working. I, I had this conversation with an artist the other day because uh, there's like some kind of open mic night here in Atlanta. And she wanted to, uh, she was real scared about going on stage and performing her single. And like, this is a big crowd. It's a, it's a big event. And man, she's just scared of being booed. And I, I mean, I don't know if she's going to do it because the um, the event is tonight, but it doesn't seem like she's going to do it. It seems like she has this this fear of rejection. She's she's scared that the people are not going to like her or she's scared that she's going to get booed off stage. Man, look, don't don't you don't want to be you don't want to be old and laying in your deathbed and having so many regrets because if you don't if you don't step up to the plate right now i promise you later you might go into a deep depression later when you get older you're going to regret it so like i said step up to the plate like don't don't be scared of who cares if somebody rejects you it doesn't matter who cares that that's that that's what comes with the game you got to be stronger than that so the fear of rejection, yeah, you need to find ways to eliminate giving a fuck about what people think and giving a fuck about people saying no or saying, hey, I don't like your music. Hey, I don't like that beat. Get used to that. You know what I'm saying? Use it as strength to, to keep getting better. But don't, don't like I said, if you have fear of what people think, you're always going to be at the bottom. You're never going to make it to the top. People that fear rejection never make it to the top. Um, the seventh thing is, Lack of priorities. That's a big one. I meet a lot of artists and producers and they say, hey, I want to be a platinum producer. Hey, I want to be a platinum artist. And then when you hang with them, they're always in a the club. They're always binge watching Netflix. They're always watching Hulu. Now they're signing up for Disney. They're always on club chat. They're always trying to find content, the post. They do all these different things, but they never actually do um, like make music or actually make beats like that. They, they they lack priority. They'll do that at the end and only spend 30 minutes on making a song or writing a song, but then they'll spend three hours watching the Kardashians or something. So it's crazy how people prioritize things. And I know a lot of people where Hennessy is more important than working, than going to the studio. You know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of people where Netflix is more important than making that beat and setting up uh, that studio time to actually get that beat placed. Like, I know a lot of people that say, hey, I want to be successful. But then when you look at their life or you take a look at their bank account or you take a look at the history of their Internet, you'll see that they, they are constantly wasting their time and spending spending money on things that entertain them, but don't bring a good return on investment. So I had to learn these things, too. You know, what I mean, like before, like before I, I started popping off, I was just always in the club every night. Always trying to find some, you know, bitches to fuck on or whatever. Like my my priorities was just all wrong. And once I actually started just, you know, what I mean, just saying, you know what, I'm gonna spend at least five hours a day working towards my dream. Literally within six months, that's how Swag Surfing came out. So it, all it took was just shifting my mind and prioritizing my life. So that's very important. If you say that you want something, that should be the first thing that you wake up and do or at least think about. You should always plan like the things that you want in life. That should be before you sit there and do drugs. That should be before you sit there and go to the club. That should be before you hang out with your friends and say yes. That should be number one. Let's see. The set, The eighth thing is uh hating on other artists and producers basically hating on creators i see that all the time i see platinum people do it and i see people on the lower scale to do it and, and to be real with you it's just not cool being a hater it ain't cool you get what i'm saying I, I know a lot of independent artists and they listen to a song and they could be like man i could rap better than that person i could sing better than that person yeah but they did something that you didn't do they did something they did something right that you have not gotten right yet so 
you know, I, I, I think that when people are doing something, you may not agree with it, but you should still um, respect the hustle. You get what I'm saying? You should, but just hating on people like that, I don't even know how you feel good about yourself. You should never hate on other people. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see somebody doing good, congratulate that man or congratulate that woman. You don't have to walk up to him, but just in your head, like before I got my Bentley uh, Continental GT, I used to always, I have to, I was parking my Maserati next to one and I always wanted that car. I didn't hate on the dude. I just, you know, I, I can, I actually went up to him like, man, I love this car. But I was like, damn, I'm going to get me one too. I wasn't trying to be his friend or take pictures in front of it because I knew one day I was going to get it. You know what I mean? So I feel like when you don't hate on people, but you congratulate them, I feel like uh, somehow, some way you get to, you get it faster. You get your blessings faster. So it's not cool to be a hater. And a lot of people are doing that nowadays. They're getting on YouTube or they're getting on Instagram and they're just trying to call people out and hate. And it, you look stupid at the end of the day. Number nine is entertaining bullshit. Um, man, <laughs> to me, that's a big one, man. Like I, like I see a lot of people that just are always like on complex fader, hot new hip hop. This is 50 always trying to get the fucking juice. What's going on with the Kardashians? Are they really breaking up? Man, did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Did you hear about Bobby Smurder? Did you hear about like entertaining bullshit? It doesn't fucking matter. None of this shit matters because it doesn't pay your bills. Uh, you know how many, I, I see people just talking on the phone all day about nothing. Bringing people in your circle and bringing people in your life that don't bring you any value. Always on your phone saying yes to any request that comes to it because you're not strong enough to say no. Always entertaining the news, entertaining the media. Oh, did you hear about COVID now? Look how many people died. Did you hear about this or that? Like, how can somebody go to bed like just knowing all this shit about entertainment, but they don't know, they don't, they didn't, they're not nowhere closer to their goals, but they know about everybody else's business. Nah, man, like people at the top, they don't, they don't even entertain certain type of things. Like, like I know with me, like, I don't even like people's pictures on my Instagram. That's how crazy I am with that. Like, I don't give a fuck about what nobody's doing. I, I literally, I literally do not care. I literally don't care what nobody's doing. I don't like, why would I entertain another man's life when I got my own that I'm, that I'm building? Doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm a man with pride. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm like, I'm not. And, and it's crazy because I see people trying to entertain my business. Yo, I heard KE, I heard he moved to LA. I heard, oh, I heard he got this mansion in Beverly Hills. Man, I heard he got, it's like, like, man, what's his net worth? We're on Google, man. What's, it's like, God damn. Never seen so many fucking bitches in my fucking life. Like, it's, it's, it's weird. So don't entertain bullshit, man. If that shit isn't involving you mentally, if that shit isn't involving you spiritually, if that shit isn't helping your bank account go up, then you're the fucking fool. Next thing I wrote on the list is trying to please everybody. There's no way in hell that you're ever going to do it. I meet so many people. They try to get surgeries. They try to do all these different things because they are looking for validation and it never works. You end up getting the short end of the stick. It, it never works. Nobody's ever did it successfully. Do not live your life trying to please other people. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Be like, I always say this, be your own cheerleader. Do you follow your heart? You know what I'm saying? Go after your dreams, set targets and achieve them. And why, as you do that, don't give a fuck about what other people think. It doesn't matter if it's, it's your friends. It doesn't matter if it's your family members. Do not buy into trying to please people because you will go downward. I promise you. And the last thing is inst um, what I put endless scrolling on social media. Um, this is something that is plaguing the modern society, especially the millennials. Um, and if you don't believe me, pause this video and go on your Instagram watch time and leave a comment below and tell me what the watch time is. Because I'm meeting people where it's like, oh my God, you spend eight fucking hours on Instagram a day. By the way, mine is uh, on average 24 minutes and I'm proud about that. And I'm actually trying to get it to 15 because it, it, it's, it's, there's nothing on there, man. What do you, it, you're wasting your time. The time that those hours that you spent on Instagram, imagine what you could be doing. Imagine you could be, you know, getting your music, reaching out to different Spotify playlist curators and get your music out there you know you could be 
uh, recording new music. You could be working on at least 10 different beats in that amount of time. Like you could be getting closer and closer to your dreams. Like I feel like it's a like a like a mini sign of depression sometimes when you're just sitting there scrolling, looking at other people's life. It's like, damn, do you hate your life that much? Do you hate your life so much that you don't want to participate in it? So you so you rather just live vicariously through somebody else's page and live vicariously through somebody else's life because you hate yours so much. If that's the case, then just cut your phone off and build a better life for yourself. But you, one thing that's going to waste a lot of time is sitting there just scrolling, looking at what everybody's doing, all in everybody's business, sitting here trying to send the hearts out. It, it, it's it's stupid. It, it's like a it's a desperate cry for help. That's how I look at it. When I see people doing that, I'm like, damn, they must hate their life. It's a desperate cry for help, and it it's almost looks like you're going through depression. It looks like you you hate your life and you're trying to live vicariously through other people. So, like I said, don't do that. It's not good, and it and it fucks your head up. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Make sure you leave a comment below. And I'll see y'all next week with some more content.